Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So today's video, guys, is just gonna be on how do you start saving and preparing food? Like, I just spent like two hours on YouTube and on Google checking different ways to store and preserve food. And I was a little intimidated because every video that I watched, people had this like amazing setup, like the money that went into what they're doing kind of blew my mind and I'm like where did you begin at though like where did you start so I actually tried to water bath some squash the other day I don't know it sealed it popped and then two days later liquid starts coming out the top so <laughs> that'll be a process I'm gonna have to probably sit down with somebody like my dad or Tracy Sappert and have them walk me through it but what I have really gotten good at is making organic apple cider vinegar. Been doing that for like two years now and I am excellent at it. Like, so I'm learning new tricks. This video is very short. I'm not really worried about recipes or anything else. It's a, it's a video of encouragement. It's a video to say it's okay to save your glass jars from the spaghetti sauce that you bought a couple of months ago and now you're gonna cook spaghetti tonight and you're gonna rinse that jar out and that lid and you're gonna sanitize it and you're gonna keep it. Yes, you are. Do not let people make you believe that you can't prepare food without, you know, this, this, you have to have this, you have to have this, this is, this is the only way. <laughs> like I, I am just blown out of the, out of the water at the needless expense. And I think because I'm facing that, I really feel like I need to let all of you know that I, I see, I see, I feel the frustration. Okay. So just know with a used jar, a coffee filter, and a rubber band, you can ferment vegetables in a saltwater brine and you can make apple cider vinegar. I don't grow apples yet. I will one day, but I buy, you know, organic apples and they're really expensive right now. I think the bag I bought the other day only had like seven little apples in it. It was like seven something with tax. And I was like, whoa, but I needed them. And then I, I went across, and I don't even know if I wish I could remember, if I can find it, I'll put it in this video. But the guy was really cool. He's like a cook. And he's like, so this is how I do fruit vinegars, you know, turn fruit into different flavored vinegars. He only put like that much apple in this big one quart jar. And I'm like, wait, wait a minute. When I first learned, people would stuff the jar, stuff the jar with apple. Well, I could do that two years ago because the cost of apples is like $4 for a bag of organic apples. Went to Walmart and Watson the other day. There was only like two different types of organic apples and there were very few bags of those. And I was like, whoa, I used to be able to come here and there were like six different brands and it would just be overflowing with fresh apples. Well, fresh, you know, not so anymore, guys, not so. So now I'm getting frugal, right? I'm getting frugal. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it encourages you to start with what you have. Who cares if it smells funny or it doesn't come out the way you wanted it to, or it doesn't taste right. Like how much money did you spend if you're using a reused jar and a coffee filter and a rubber band? Like how much money did you waste? Especially if you're growing most of the food that you're attempting to preserve through fermentation, all right? So salt's one of those things I do actually prep and I have always have, always have had lots of salt. Like that's just my thing, like, like with the Dawn soaps. One of those things I just keep a lot of, I always have. And now with the, the homemade apple cider vinegar, same thing. I like, I keep a lot of those things. So for me, it was no extra expense to spend 30 minutes rinsing off bell pepper, jalapenos, comfrey, some basil and a hot pepper a gentleman gave us and dicing all those up and filling a quart jar and then mixing a tablespoon and a half into water, well water, cause you know, I don't have city water, so I'm not worried about fluoride or any of that. And I'm not gonna go buy filtered water. I'm not, I don't use it from apple cider vinegar and it comes out amazing. Like I sell some. So yeah, I always base it on what my customers tell me. You have happy customers, you're doing something right. Like. People like my apple cider vinegar. My animals like my apple cider vinegar. My husband has to drink it. I don't know that he really likes it, but that's my job, right? Keep him healthy. He's my partner, ruining the same boat. 
So you guys enjoy this video. Just know that as I learn to can, I'll put on tips on here. But when I tell you that we work hard for our money and I just, I'm tired of giving my money to companies that tell me that, you know, um, I have to do it this way or, or use this product. I mean, maybe one day I'll be at a point where I'm willing, but in my mind, I'm trying to prep with what I have because that to me is sustainable. That to me is homesteading. It's not, it's not going out like I want a sun oven, right? I'm not buying one. So now my husband, God rest him, y'all. He, I'm gonna say God rest his soul, but he's still alive. So God bless him. He's a great man. He's actually going to figure out how to build him and my dad, how to build me a, a sun oven. Like with things that the two of them have put up or my husband will just keep watch. God, I told y'all this, God has an amazing way of when he sees you working towards something that he's put on your heart, all of a sudden it comes into your hand. Okay. So that is the point of this video. I hope that you enjoy it. Hope you get a kick out of the way that I reuse my, my glass bottles. I'm sure somebody would be like, Ugh. you know. How redneck is that? It's very redneck, boo-boo. It's very redneck. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because I'm frugal. And the money I do have pays my bills, goes in my savings account. And when I really need something that I can't make myself, right? Because there are times there are things that I cannot make, that I cannot prep yet. I have to purchase. So that's what that money goes for. But when I can do it with what's already on hand, then I know that I can replicate that that product, that end product in every situation. And that for me is really the ultimate goal, guys. That is a win-win. It's a win for my husband, and it's a win for me, and it is a win for Sarky Farmstead. So you guys have a blessed day. Um, it's Wednesday, we have Children's Church. We have a going back to school bash tonight. We're gonna be slippy sliding and eating pizza. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I have to go inside and I have to get ready. All right, you can ferment without buying burping lids. Okay, so for the ones of us who maybe haven't been on the ball with canning, we've never done it, we're just beginning, you watch all these videos and they've got all this stuff, right? All these proper weights and all, I mean, it'll just like blow your mind. Some things I'm learning, okay. Apple cider vinegar. I reuse jars, I keep the lid so when the process is finished, turning this into apple cider vinegar, I'll put the actual lid that fits this jar back on it. But until then, I have one coffee filter, not two, and a rubber band works just as well, whether you're fermenting with salt, brine, or you're doing an apple cider vinegar. Something else I've realized, I don't have to fill this jar all the way to here with organic apples. I don't have to, I can just put a little extra sugar and one and maybe two apples in a jar this size, same thing over here. You can see the date. Let me show you guys. Sorry if I'm moving the camera around crazy. This is the last apple cider vinegar that I did. Now I've taken the apples out, but look at the mother in that. And I noticed the other day that it isn't quite finished. I'll put a, took the lid back off, put a coffee filter back on. I keep it up in the cabinet where the sun, the light is completely off of it. This is my first attempt today at salt brine. So I am fermenting peppers uh, bell peppers, hot peppers, jalapenos, some basil, some comfrey, just salt water. That's it. I used a tablespoon and a half of salt in this quart jar. Okay, with, when you're doing the apple cider vinegar, play around with the sugar. Decide how much you want to use. A little extra sugar sometimes will speed the process up. And when you pull the apples out, when you strain it, make sure to feed this back to your chickens, guys. Amazing treat for them really good for their gut health, really good. So if you're not at a place in your life where you can really can or you can afford all these, really everything's going up, the cost of everything is going up. These are some canning, and I guess this really is rebel canning, or better yet, it's redneck canning, but it works. So you guys have a blessed day, I hope this helps. I hope this just encourage you to save some glass jars and lids, get you some coffee filters and get started.